Hey everybody, Coach Khan here, and I am ready to work our arms today. We're gonna to do some biceps. We are gonna do curls, but we're gonna do reverse curls. So the difference, in a regular curl, your hands are like this, your palms are facing up. A reverse curl, your palms are down, so the top of your hand is what is up. So you're gonna have your arms down, you're gonna curl it up, and bring it down. Bring it up, and down. You might want to go a little bit lighter in the weight that you would normally do on a regular bicep curl because it's a little bit of a different feel and a different pull on your bicep. So if you want to start heavy, just make sure you have a light weight next to you in case halfway through it gets a little hard because I want to make sure that you are doing the proper form and you're not moving your body or pulling with your back. You need to just use your bicep to pull up, okay? So go ahead and grab your weights. I'm going to get our minute on. And let's get started. So let's go up and down. It's a little awkward feeling to do this one if you haven't done it before or if you don't do it often. I've only done this one a couple times, so even for me, it feels a little awkward. But make sure you're looking forward. Core is tight, slight bend in your knee. Tuck that booty under to help keep that core pulled in and keep your chest up. You're already halfway. Make sure you're breathing. Proper way to breathe when you're working out is when you're doing the part that's the hardest, like when you're pulling up, that's when you exhale. So it's, then you inhale. That was always difficult for me to figure out. I've never knew when was the right time to breathe. You don't want to hyperventilate, so you want to make sure you're breathing properly. Almost done, you should feel this burn. Whew. I even feel it a little in my forearms too. And we are done. Great job, guys. Thanks again for joining me as always, and I will see you tomorrow.